This is Adam Gert. You're now watching Sport and Icons. So Richard Riakpour made his return to the ring after two years out of it. Of course, he had a very serious injury and of course, boxing politics and of course, uh, the C-19 hit the world and all that kind of thing. So it's been a two year hiatus from live fight night for Richard Riakpour, former British cruiserweight champion. Now, he took on a very, very tough, durable opponent in Christoph Twardowski. Now, we knew that this fight was going to go a few rounds. I certainly did because... I felt that Richard, because of his absence out of the ring, he's going to want rounds. And you can do as many rounds in sparring as you like and all that kind of thing. And that's all great. But nothing quite beats removing the head guard and getting smaller gloves on, being hot under those lights, the pressure, the crowd, the cameras and all that kind of thing. And of course, he's got a new trainer in his corner, which of course he has to get used to being there for live fight night. Of course, he would have been used to having Mark Tibbs. So with Angel Fernandez being there, it's great that he was doing some rounds because at least then he's getting used to Angel Fernandez being there in front of him, hearing his voice on fight night because a fighter has to learn how to shut out the noise around the arena with everybody shouting at him and recognize his own trainer's voice. Okay, so that's great that this fight went rounds and that's exactly what I wanted it to do. Don't be wrong, we wanted knockouts. Of course we do. Richard Rackpaw is never short of that big right hand. He's an absolute unit with that punch, no doubt. But Twardowski, he came to fight. And I think it's probably the perfect opponent for Richard Rackpaw. Because the last thing in the world that you want is to be out of the ring for, say, two years, come back into the ring and blast your opponent out straight away. That's the last thing in the world that you really want because what are you getting? Okay, so I've still got a punch. No, you need somebody who's going to be durable. You need somebody who's going to allow you to try new things. I say allow. Of course, I use that loosely. But Richard Rappel would have wanted to have tried new things that um, he's been working on with Angel Fernandez. And you can see that Richard Rappel, he's never been the fastest star in the world. But for me, I think that if Richard had put his foot on the gas a bit earlier on, he may well have got him out of there. But I think that he deliberately wanted the rounds. Now, in round eight... He caught Twardowski with a huge, huge shot and Twardowski went down and I thought he was done. But to his credit, straight back to his feet and still in the fight. I mean, that Twardowski's got a heck of a chin, that's for sure. But Richard Rackpaw, he did have some, I don't say hairy moments, but he had some moments of, I think he's in round number six. I think it was, his nose looked pretty bad. Um, it was bleeding quite a lot. I, don't, I had no idea if it was broken. No idea whatsoever, but again, Richard, he perseveres. And it's great that he had an opponent who was coming onto him and throwing shots at him, giving, th giving him things to think about. Richard was using his jab very, very well. I think that you could probably argue that maybe he was soaking up a few too many shots. But again, that's a good thing. Because being out of the ring for so long, again, you can do all the sparring you like, but fight night is really what toughens you up. It toughens your body, it toughens your face and all that kind of thing. It does. It really does. So he had a few shots. So that's actually, that's actually going to help him in his next couple of fights. So this was a perfect matchmaking fight. So congratulations to whoever match made this fight. But Richard Rackpaw, for me, he won this fight quite handedly. I mean, Twardowski, he did have a couple of good rounds, that's for sure. But I think that Richard Rackpaw, he always done enough to nick most of the rounds. And of course, that knocked down in round number eight, which of course was the final round, eight round fight pretty much sealed it anyway but even without the knockdown I think Richard would have won for me I thought it was a great performance there are certainly things that he needs to work on but again that's down to inactivity that's down to having a new trainer again his trainer Angel Fernandez of course was in the corner for Anthony Joshua but either way great victory for Richard Reactport it's good to see him back in the ring live on Sky Sports maybe he's going to become the poster child for Sky Sports maybe he's going to become the face of Sky Sports he's got the opportunity now so now he's got that first fight out the way. Let's see what he, what he can do going forward. Would he like to get his British title back? Maybe. I think probably more realistic, he'd probably go after the European title. That's probably it. So for me, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, my thoughts, you drop me yours. Click thumbs up and of course subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video.